engine I call it because uh, it's really the heart of the uh, wind turbine is dual rotor I assembled it last night uh, it has a nine coil I think it is probably 20 gauge wire maybe maybe around 160 turns made by Goofy Wind and this turbine assembly is made by Belgrade Machine they are very kind they donated this wind turbine to me uh, very generous folks and all I had to do was to put on the magnets which I did these are one inch square half inch thick magnets new dimming magnets pretty strong and I'm running it now on two phases with a bridge rectifier I think I'm not sure what's the uh, handling capacity probably 4 amps or 5 amps I'm not sure and I intended this to be used as a low wind low RPM turbine so I added a couple of capacitors here to boost the voltage essentially doubling the voltage and of course when you do that your output in terms of amps are lower overall in terms of watts uh, is the same but of course uh, this intent I mean this uh, setup uh, would work uh, depending on what you're doing with it if you're charging like 24 volt uh, batteries 212 volt in series it would work much better if you're doing just 12 volts um, you could do away with the capacitors but a lot of times the wind are just turning very slowly and if you have this uh, turning at uh, if you need it to turn at high RPM you're not going to get anything you'll just be turning so let's uh, let's hook up this very small LED okay and see what's uh, what's happening this is a 1 watt LED I was playing around with it outside with my uh, horizontal wind turbine okay so this is let's see if you can see okay let's put everything in camera range okay this only needs about three volts here so basically each time I turn this wing it it would flood it, it would light three three volts or so so there's no surprise there it works okay let's do this is a 12 volt brake light uh, the high filament is 8 to 10 watts and uh, the, the low beam I think or lower uh, filament is 8 watts to 10 watts the high one is um, 30 watts or so so this is 12 volt again it is not really a match to this because this will generate more voltage so So you can see it lighting up, I hope. Or maybe it was at the edge there. Yep. So it can it can do that under load. Let's see here. This is another small job here. This is just a 168 sort of like a side marker bulb again you, you don't need the high voltage for this so
Yeah. So this easily lights it up because this is only a few watts. Very easily lights it up. Okay, let's do some uh, open voltage testing. This is the digital meter. I'll set it to 200 volts. Okay, sorry for the interruptions. Okay, this assembly here actually doesn't, it doesn't need the voltage booster, but like I said, I wanted to run at low RPM. Oh, I have it on amps. Okay, let's do amps, okay? I have it on amps and I set it to volt. Okay. All right. Okay, it's about two amps when I spin it. Three amps there. So about 3 amps, but this is at a very high voltage. Let's uh, put it back on volt. Put it on 200. Okay, let's see here. Turn the lights on, yeah. Okay, 37 volts. I just have a, almost 50 volts here. 53 volts. So this is with the booster. Without the booster, you, you can still get way over 20 volts. 65 volts. So <laughs> we we're getting into dangerous uh, territory here so um, yeah it's uh, I don't know 60 volts time 3 3 amps uh, it's, it could it uh, way over 100 watts so depending on what you want to do with it you can set up your your rectifiers uh, with or without the voltage booster, the caps there uh, holds the charge, so you can see the voltage there now at 56 volt. Well, let me hold this closer so you can see what's the deal. Because I will be using it as a vertical windmill, I'll probably have a housing for it, so it will be less exposed to the weather so that would be that would be a good thing this would be the the arms that would be attached to the wings of your wind turbine I don't know what kind of wings to to make um, the lens would be good but if you want really fast wings you have to make the more aerodynamic or airfoil type uh, wings and uh, but they need good winds so so this is it uh, not very scientific but I actually haven't fine-tuned the, the uh, stator make sure that the gaps are even and all I haven't even installed the bolts there are like five bolts that uh, you can install to make sure the alignment is good but I was eager uh, to test it because I want to make sure that 
I installed the magnets correctly and, and that the stator works. And uh, I need to get another bridge rectifier because I only have one there so that's why I'm only doing two phases. Alright, um, that's it. Uh, I hope uh, that gives you an idea of what the vertical wind turbine can do. And um, again, I'd like to thank Belgrade Machine and uh, Goofy Wind who gave me the stator. Uh, Alright, take care and have a great day.